Welcome back to Dairy Airs. We're canning again. This time it's meatloaf. Let me show you how it's done. Super quick and easy. I'm going to do two because I got another batch of stuff going. I'm just going to pop these in there to fill up my pot. So let's check it out. All right, guys. I got two pounds of meat in here, and this is what I'm going to do. This is paprika. Let's sprinkle some on top. This is garlic pepper seasoning. Sprinkle some on top. Probably about like that. This is savory. I'm going to put probably two good pinches in it like that. Maybe three. Three pinches. Like so. I'm going to put some chopped dried onion in it. Probably about a tablespoon. Over a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Because we like onion. <laughs> and let's see, crushed red pepper. I'll take this and probably put it's probably half a teaspoon. That's probably good enough. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. So we're about a half teaspoon. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up and get it into a jar. We'll be back when I'm ready for that. All right, we're mixing it up. See what it looks like. I do have some seasonings off to the side over here. I might just go ahead and throw in there too. And all you need other than this is an egg. Do not add any um, grain products to this. Just an egg for a binder, okay? Mix that all in there real good. Just enough to get it combined. It's probably good. All right, we are gonna start filling these jars. You wanna get yourself some balls and put them in there. After you get it in there, you wanna kinda of squish it down so that it doesn't have any air pockets down in there. Look around the jar and make sure it does not. Get some more, same thing. Push it down so there's no air pockets, okay? Okay, more, plop it in there. It's a kind of messy job, but you can get her done. Push it down till the air pockets come out. Okay. There we go. We're gonna take it just under that one inch mark. Just a little bit under. Okay, that is done. Then I'm gonna put a hole in the middle of this one, like so, to the bottom. Hole here, to the bottom. Let's get this one going. Okay. I think we're just about finished. This last little part. Yep, perfect. I'm gonna pound this one down. Get out what I can. Okay. Okay. This has got a gap down here, so I'm gonna, there we go, get rid of that. There we go. There's a little gap there. Get rid of it. Push that stuff down in there. There we go. That's pretty solid. Okay. Now, get it down all around the edges there. And make a hole in the middle. Pull that out. Now I'm going to put some sauce in there.
not a lot, but just enough. And just so you know, when you get ready to get this out of the jar, just warm it up in some warm water around the edges a little bit first and it'll come right out, okay? That's that. All right, let me clean up here. Okay, I'm just making sure one last time that uh, got all those air bubbles out. I'm looking around the jar. Looks like everything's cool. Okay, let's see if we can get the sauce down in the middle real quick here. There we go, and on this one. Okay. All right, now we've got to clean the top of those jars up. And boy, do they need it, because they're a mess. So I'm gonna take this one and just wipe everything off really good with it to begin with, all the meat and such. That's on there. It's kind of a messy job. Wear gloves if you can. <laughs> all right. Then we will get some vinegar and clean them off proper. <clears throat> so this is three meatloaves pull out some night when life is too dang busy to make supper and it's finished all you have to do is heat it up make a meatloaf sandwich if you want whatever grab a jar of veggies or something you're good to go I want to go over this one more time like I said it was a very messy job so I want to make sure that it's good and clean Okay. Okay, that feels better. Okay. Also, make sure when you're doing this that you're feeling for um, chips in the top of your jar and stuff. Make sure everything's cool there. All right. These are ready to rock. Fingertip tight. We'll see them when they come out, guys. So come on back. All in there. So we will let them go for 75 minutes, guys. And we'll be back. All right. This is the meatloaf. When it's done, you can see as I turn it, it kind of moves. So when you guys get ready to use this, um, just put the jar under some warm water in the sink so that it will loosen up the fats around the edges of the jar on the inside, and then it will slide right out. And that's how you do it. So there you go. That's pretty easy. Make sure you always use a wide mouth jar because you go putting these in a regular mouth jar, you're gonna have a hard time getting them out. Okay. That was canning meatloaf pretty easy if you ask me. Uh, you guys should come back. We're gonna do some more canning meat videos this March. So I think in about three days, we'll have another one. Come on back, and I think it's going to be ground meats and then chickens after that. So, see you soon.